I like the old style wooden totes. They are easily customizable for my tools and if I change tools I can just alter the toolbox to fit them. I make other boxes too and for the corners I prefer finger or box joints. They're attractive and strong and you don't need any extra bracing. Invariably my beekeeping tools are scattered about so it was time to make a special toolbox for them. I've made several jigs for cutting box joints. They're usually quite simple to make, but this one by Matthias Wandel is extremely flexible in the sizes of fingers you can make, and you can cut four pieces at a time, meaning that after only two passes, you're done. Once it's glued up, you can come back later and put in the bottom board. I like to inset the bottom board. To make the rabbit joint to inset into, you could just run the four sides to the table saw before it's glued up. The problem with that is that once assembled, there are holes in the side of the box that then need to be plugged up. So I use a special router bit to cut the rabbit after the glue up. I could square off the corners with a chisel, but I just round the corners of the bottom plate off on the sander and drop it in. Finger joints usually need a little cleaning up. The belt sander makes quick work of it and then I come back later and finish sand everything. With the main box finished, it's time to start making some modifications. This one will hold the smoker. There are still several smaller boxes to make, and for that I use a smaller router bit. They get finished off in the same way, and then it's on to making the handle. For the handles on my toolboxes, I usually laminate thin pieces of wood and bend them to the desired shape, and then mortise and tendon the ends. This makes a strong handle that will hold a lot of weight and never fail. It may seem like a lot of extra work, but it's really not, and I want this box to be around for a long time. I don't want to regret not having done it right every time I go to use it. I had some linseed oil around the shop, so that's what I used to finish it with. Sometimes a brush is necessary to sweep bees away. The bristles fit over a wooden peg that keeps it from sliding off the end. The sliding box lets you get to something quickly inside, and it holds those small things you don't want getting mixed up with the bigger tools. The smoker is always right where it should be, and it can even stay lit while it's in its holder. We use the torch to keep the smoker lit, and now we'll never have to go looking for it. The design of my beekeeper's toolbox is not really unique, but it fits all of my tools, and if I decide I want to change something about it, I can.